Hey, I am so glad that you've chosen to seek God with us today at Connection Point. If you're a guest, can I just say welcome and you are surrounded by people right now who just want the very best for you. You found the right place to connect to God and to build relationships with others who are gonna help you grow in your relationship with God. I do want to celebrate a couple things with our church family. Last weekend, we had our Easter services, 10 physical services across three locations, six live online services. And you guys, uh, God worked in an incredible way. In fact, there was this beautiful moment where we got to lead new believers in a prayer of salvation, to give their lives to Christ, to ask Christ to be their savior. And what a moment as a pastor, uh, when those folks raised their hands and I got to make eye contact with so many of them, high school aged kids, college students, young parents, grandparents, people of all ages who matter to God, who Jesus died on the cross for, And you guys, those number of hands raised or people who texted the word believe, it's 318. That's 318 souls who now have eternal life because of you, because you invited, because you prayed, because you gave, because you served. And so church, way to go. What do we do now? Well, I wanna encourage you, if you invited someone to join us for Easter, re-invite them because there's a very good chance that they made a decision for Christ or even if they didn't yet make a decision that they sensed God speaking to them. So next week we kick off a series that is going to speak to them just like our Easter message did. It's all about the frustrations of finding satisfaction in life. It's an incredibly honest series and it goes through the month of April into May. I really think God's gonna speak in a big way. I'm so excited for this series. Here's what else you can do. If you invited someone or if you know anyone who's recently made a decision for Christ, you can personally encourage them to learn about baptism. We have baptisms coming up here the weekend of April 28th. And I wanna encourage you personally, if you've never been baptized as your own decision, We would love to help you understand why Jesus commands us to do this, what it means, and if you're ready, invite you to be part of it that weekend of April 28th. How do you learn more about baptism? Well, on your browser, go to cp.news. CP for connection point, dot news is all the things going on here. And you can click on baptism. This does not commit you immediately. It gets you in the process of learning what baptism is. Now, I just want to encourage you, if you've never made that decision, that moment that you go down into those waters, understanding that you've died to the old way of life and you're being raised, just like Jesus was raised, into a new life, it is a -a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So head over to cp.news to check that out. And as I mentioned, re-invite the people you've invited, follow up with them, ask them if God spoke to them, guys, God is moving in a huge way. 318 souls saved. I'm just overwhelmed. I'm ecstatic. And I'm so honored that I get to be part of this with you. Well, today we've got a fantastic message from our teaching pastor, Ron Merrill. Would you guys just celebrate what God's doing and let Ron know how much you love him by putting your hands together. 